Okay, quick Friday lunchtime radar update. So the markets are, are in a happy mood today. Happy mood this week, actually. I'm just going to buzz through my screens and we're just going to have a quick look what is up today. I'll just go UK up today first. Hit that screen and I'll ignore the investment trust, but they're, they're sort of as a group, they're dominating obviously today. Let me just order, I'll just fly through the stocks in a second. Direct to plus coming off the lows there. This is a lose less scenario and it will be a story in turnover if you look at it um, very, very early. Still looks rumbling. Not my breakfast yet. I'll just buzz straight past these investment trusts. So construction, house builders um, doing okay on the back of uh, the election. Let's just fly through these. Choppy trading vehicles, all movers pack. Um, fan working on a, a higher high there. So we've got the base breakout, we've got the first pullback. It's in a better, we talked about this one, didn't we? It's in a better area than it was back here. Because when you see a base like this, and even a zone of interest like this, it's into all this supply. And, and look where this, this thing stopped. You know, everyone's trapped up here. So it's in a better place. Um, is it a better stock? Yeah, kind of. It's up there, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's up there on, on the in construction as well. You know, it's in that area. It's a bit of a choppy sloth sector, but uh, yeah, those who took this and uh, would be looking looking at this level, wouldn't they? In my chat, let's just move on. Uh, Vnet, so yeah, quite a popular one in, in my chat group. Um, breaking out today, clear breakout, bit of an undefined base, but we talked about it last night, didn't we? It's hard, you know, zooming out, I could say, well, this thing's never traded nicely. Uh, I could also say, you know, it's actually traded, it's on the GTRS, it's, it's got some gas in the tank this time. So is it a reason for it to change the way it's traded in the past? Hopefully. Moving on. We've got another clean breakout in here somewhere, haven't we? I can only find it. Yeah, I talked about Coach Group last night. I not personal in the family account I've I've got a pullback entry on that. I was, I'm so used to saying my dad's account now, now I have to say this the family account, really. It's a family account now. There's some red row. Getting a hit of sugar from the elections, these are. I don't need to do the volume leaders because they get everything's in here. Well, I could do. I could do.
at LSC, potential right side of a very kind of unorderly base. Bit cr it is a base, but you know, it's a very loose one, isn't it? Games Workshop, just big fat efficient chip to stock these days. If you're looking for B2, you're probably going to be looking for something a little bit different these days. Something with beta would would help. <laughs> S S4. Um return to grow. No, oh, actually return to pre-tax profit apparently on this one. Turnover's down and his per shares up. You'd have to dig into that, you know. S4. Why those numbers are a little bit higgledy piggledy. A lot of debt on this one, big debt multiples, so. AMS, so yeah, you know, I know there's a spy camera in this office somewhere because I've uh, been asked about it today in my chat group, just as I was about to drop it by Rajesh. Um, yeah, clean break. It's got a bit of supply back here. Um, obviously, ac acquisition is uh, the acquisition is pumping some gas into the tank on this one and uh, the turnover will uh, go up uh, drastically. I'll just jump onto a different screen. I'll just do the last few and then I'll just go through AMS for you. I know we've covered it a bit. Um, I've got some skin in the game on the family account on that one. AT, back to highs. Did, did we ever doubt it? Moving on. I don't want to curse it. Um... Greg's still got to try Greg's from the end of the road. Well, there's quite a few more actually. Let's fly through these. So a really um, nice market environment at the moment. Uh, it has been for, for us in the growth stock area, UK growth stocks especially. It's been nice all month. You know, there's uh, say all month. For weeks it's uh it's been fine uh another one koo it, we call it base with supply it's been going sideways for a year or so now about a year um return to growth with a hit of turnover there as well I haven't dug into it is there an acquisition in the mix or is it just ticking up strongly it went 149 to 176.4 and it's forecast 206.5 that's cool and I'll just hit this other thing because I've queued this up so you can have a look at uh, AMS, so we've got an earnings per share breakout. Look at that, it's breaking out to new all-time highs in the earnings per share. We've got a pre-tax profit breakout and we've got a big acceleration in the turnover down to an acquisition. Um, yeah, happy days, whatever, you know, it, it is what it is, but uh, that's a very clean line in the sand on a pretty, you know, I expect this thing to 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 be very stair steppy on its journey. If it if it you know it's been good in the past, Timmy, extremely good. But you know one of the biggest trades I I left so much on the table on this trade. It, it was just unbelievable. But um, yeah, I mean, if it bases where I like to see a base, I will add to it. It's it's a an early early base there. Because it's still got a little bit well it's got supply back here you see so I'll leave it there do your own research on, on all that obviously I have uh, positions in uh, I am NOT a hindsight investor I have skin in the game I do this every day at trading basis so if you're interested in what we do I don't give you any magic and any the magic entries and the magic we we, we just roll through the screens 
every day in a robust manner and I share risk management and how I everything how I how I do everything in the markets is shared in my website for you know going back and uh checking you know if Jace is buying a position in in a share like AMS you will know how I'm positioning this I'm positioning it loose so my stops can be out of the noise I I will plan to trail and add to it as, as it moves on its journey if it doesn't move on its journey it will be a paper cut every time apart from the, the worst occasions where there's a huge gap but it should still be a paper cut and um you know the the, the parameters i you know that i trade within are, are all in there you can learn you can learn how i do this Hindsight don't pay the bills, you know, turning up every day and turning over the stones and trading the portfolio does for me anyway. So I'll leave it there. Cheers all.